Hi, today I'm, and welcome back, sorry. I'm gonna start um, a travel envelope that uh, my family and I are going to Disney on vacation at the end, well, towards the end of this month. And um, I, we, when we go, most of the time we fly, but um, this year we're gonna drive down. And regardless of how we go, we generally take a folder that has our itinerary, you know, things that we want to do and everything in it. And it's usually just a plain, you know, folder that you might put a report or something in. And this year, I thought what I would do is make a reinforced travel envelope and do it up with some Disney themes. Uh, see, we have our itinerary printed out in all of our, you know, extras. The reservations, we're going to stay at um, the Boardwalk uh, Villas this time. And we're going to have a Boardwalk view. And uh, then I printed out driving directions. It's almost 20 hours to get down to um, where we're gonna stay. And my daughter and I are gonna take turns driving. So, and we love road trips, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. But for this, what I wanna sh do is, I'm just gonna fast forward it, because what I'm doing is I'm taking a white catalog envelope, nine by 12. I'm going to reinforce it and add color. And then maybe, do some Disney paper collage. I don't know how much of my pearl watercolors will show up at the end. I've got tons of Disney stickers because I have a membership to the DVC, the Disney Vacation Club. So um, I have all of these things to choose from. Of course, some of it I won't don't want to use on an envelope because I'd like to use it for scrapbooking if I ever really get to scrapbooking. I have all kinds of Tinkerbell stickers, and I have this kit, you know, one of these finished in a flash, and it's got good Disney colors. And um, I think that uh, it will go well on the envelope in different places. So, and I have a whole jar of sequins and stuff, and I'm just going to play and see where I wind up. So, it's still cold here. I mean, it's been so cold the last three days. It snowed. We had a very light winter, hardly any snow at all, and I think we've made up for it. It is melting again, and the temperature is going up slowly, so I guess I should be thankful. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this, and I will be back at the end. Thank you. Okay, here what I'm doing is I'm going to take this 9 by 12 catalog envelope apart. I got these at Staples, and I'm going to be reinforcing the folds and the seams with a type of packing tape. It's it's not the clear stuff. It's it's a white, more vinyl-y tape. And I plan to do some collage like I showed in the start. I'm going to cut some pieces out and, and just make this pretty. I didn't wind up using watercolor. I wound up using acrylic paints. Uh, you'll see that shortly. Right now, I showed the uh, computer printouts, but what I'm thinking with this envelope, I want to make it so that it's nice and sturdy because when our vacation is finished, what I'm hoping is that as we go through the parks, any maps, because Disney's updated a lot of things, they've taken a lot of things out, and they're putting a lot of new things in that we haven't seen, and it's not finished. It won't be finished probably until sometime next year, but um, I'm hoping that any of the maps and, and little things that we pick up, we can put in these this envelope and we can use this as kind of memorabilia um, 
for this trip for 2016 and it, you know because I always go with good intentions of putting everything into scrapbooks and I'm really not much of a scrapbooker I don't usually get to it I do have a f huge album made up that's of pocket pic pictures in pockets but that's pretty much all they are is I throw the pictures in the pockets um, so I know I'm not much of a scrapbooker so I figure by making this envelope I can have everything in here to begin with and then we can always open the envelope and look at what we've collected and know the memory was from 2016 um, which I think will be fun I know I enjoy going back and looking through boxes and envelopes so <laughs> this should be a great family history almost done okay the envelope is all reinforced and I've got a piece of cardboard in there to keep the acrylic paint I wasn't sure if it would seep through this paper or not so I just put cardboard in to protect the envelope and I'm using a couple of actually I only used one shade of red I just had both out in case I ran out because my one red is a little low and a blue really pretty cobalt blue just cheap acrylic paint and I'm putting it on kind of haphazardly and kind of not I'm kind of collaging with paint <laughs> because red and blue make purple so I dried a little bit of it just to make sure I didn't have a completely purple envelope although in the end it probably doesn't matter but I think you can see it kind of I love the galaxy finish that this kind of gets at the end um, and here you can see that red and blue make this deep violet color which I like it be nice if you could really move this fast when you're crafting. I could get a lot more done. Uh, I hope this isn't sped up too much. And this is also my first video where I've attempted a voiceover and I know the uh, audio quality isn't great but I'm using an old headset and microphone that I've had a few years and I only do this for fun so <laughs> don't see myself investing too much more. Uh, I'm just sharing my craft here. And I think this envelope will be wonderful for family memories. I think I may do more of this. I do have a journal upstairs that I started. It's kind of like a Midori, but it's not. And I bought it at Barnes & Noble one year. And my granddaughter and I had started drawing pictures and writing about the day and it's not something I do every time it's just something I do every now and then so um, we are a Disney family it's a time where we all let loose and our family comes together and we have a very good time so here you see I'm using my Martha Stewart and adding you can see the cat jumping in every now and then too. That's Elephant. He loves the Hi, suit. Hi, I just showed a part, I think, um, where I was starting to add the color to the envelope. And I had put a piece of chipboard inside the envelope just so um, it wouldn't get, you know, kind of stuck together. I did put my Martha Stewart, Stewart Sparkle all over it, and I did finish painting the back. I also put a piece of black cardstock just on the inside. It doesn't go all the way in. I mean, it goes a little ways. Just to reinforce the flap, because I know that we'll be in and out of this envelope quite a few times um, during our, st our trip and our stay. I wanted to show you, I had a pad of paper that had a border edge that looked like this. And there's a couple of more pieces that I also cut out. What I did was I Mod Podged them onto a piece of black cardstock. And my black cardstock 
is the um, Black Cat. Sorry for the glare. The premium cardstock, the Black Cat. I don't know if I got it at Michael's or AC Moore, but that's what I've backed it with. And this is going to also go on the flap of my envelope on the outside. And when it's closed, the Mickeys will be upside down. But when it's open, the Mickeys will be right side up. And what I did was I put, oh, I got some glue. I took a Star Brad, let's see if I have another one. Well, something like this one. And I put it through this, the cardstock and all. And then I wrapped some string around the legs. And then I put a piece of ribbon around the legs. And I have the legs kind of spread open to hold it in. And then I just glued the ribbon down. And I have a punch. Let me see. I actually have a Mickey Mouse punch. And I just punched out some black Mickey heads out of the same cardstock. And uh, if you can see, I have quite a mess here. Um, and I just put one of those over the ribbons that I, as I have them glued down. And I'm just going to press the feet down and kind of mush the glue around. Because they also put some glue around the prongs just to keep everything secure. Um, and when this is dry or when I'm ready after I've decorated the rest of the envelope. I'm going to take it and it's going to go here on the flap and then I'll have another bread down in here somewhere that I will then use to wrap okay. this. Um, sorry for the interruption. Uh, so I was saying this is going to glue onto the flap and that's how I'm going to close the envelope and secure it. Then I'm going to cut these out and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these yet. But let me show you some of the other things that I've done. I've cut some squares out of another piece of paper and they have some of the Disney characters' faces on them. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna use those or not. Then there are some, you know, pieces that I cut also from paper that show that. And then I have a Disney die and embosser you probably can't see it very well on the black, but that's what the white looks like. It's just a Mickey head. It's die cut and embossed. And then I have a piece of paper that has little Mickeys all over it. So what I did was I took a very small, like half inch hole punch, and I just cut some of the Mickeys out. So that's some of that stuff. And then I got squares of like castles and things. And I took some more images from other paper and I Mod Podge them on more of the Black Cat cardstock. And I'm probably going to put these down on the envelope too. Although I'm starting to lean towards making some kind of a trip journal, but not sure yet. And then I have a Xyron sticker maker, the little one. Let me see. I have an old, it's an old one because mine's still the, the gold color. And so I took some other images and cutouts from paper and I made stickers out of them. And then like I showed earlier, I've got a bunch of other stickers and things. So let me get started. I want to kind of collage the envelope. And while I was going to show it, in process, I'm afraid it would be kind of boring for you to sit and watch me try to figure out what I want to put where and cut and paste. So I will be back to show this to you um, either when I come to something interesting or when it's all done. So thank you. Be right back. Okay. Well, I'm back. I have some company with me. This is Elephant. He's on my craft table. I'm usually fighting trying to keep him. He sneaks up on me. <laughs> he wants to join me for crafting. So let me put him down so I can show you the finished product. So 
Let's see, that's a little too close. Let me move it out just a little. There we go. Um, this is the finished white envelope and elephant's back, but we'll continue. I, if you rem I did this yesterday. Um, whoa, elephant just knocked half of my craft table down. Uh, let's see. So as you can see, I did a lot of collaging, a lot of Disney stuff, cutouts from paper, make, you know, wonderful collage items. And then I put some stickers on and some transparent stickers. And then this is, it's very shiny, I know, Walt Disney World and um, fun. So I have all kinds of stuff. And then this is the back, which is covered also. I used some E6000 to hold down like the chipboard embellishments. And then this is the ribbon that I'm going to use to close it. And it wraps around that star. And it can come back up to the top and wrap around here to actually hold it. And then that's the inside flap. And then when it's down, it looks like that, which is upside down, kind of, but there's that. And then inside the envelope right now, and you notice I put some sequins and stuff on, and just kind of a, an amazing assortment. Here is our stuff for our reservations and there's driving directions and everything that go in here and any other important papers um, to do with the trip and then while we're down there if we pick up any maps and stuff this will be a good place to put them and then this will become our memorabilia envelope for this year's Disney trip which we are really looking forward to so I hope that um, you enjoyed some of this video. I know I didn't show a lot of it, but most of this is just cutting and pasting. And I did go over the whole thing with some Mod Podge, and then I finished it up with my shiny Martha Stewart, which is also kind of like a Mod Podge. And um, yeah, I really like that. And I'm glad that I backed some of the paper cutouts on black cardstock because the black cardstock kind of gives it that extra pop that brings all the colors together. So as you can see, when I say have a colorful day, I really like color. So from me to you, I hope you have a very colorful day. Thank you for joining me. Take care. <laughs>